So this will be a comprehensive tutorial, but a simple tutorial on trees in Python. And the reason I'm doing this is because for many developers and programmers working with trees and other data structures like graph and linked lists used to be a challenge. So let's work with trees. So we are going to learn how to define a tree, adding a node to a tree, building up a tree like this one you see here, printing all the nodes of the tree in order, printing all the nodes post order, printing all the nodes pre-order, doing a breadth-first search, the algorithm using queues, DFS, or BFS, this is actually BFS uh, Python code. We are going to run through the code to see how it looks like. Then we are going to be doing depth-first search, uh, the algorithm using stats. Then we are also going to see the depth-first search algorithm code in Python. We are going to be searching for a tree, for a key in the tree, and we have to do an exercise, an interesting exercise, which is called tree top view. So let's go ahead to get started. This is just the first one. The second one will be graph, and the third one is going to be linked lists. So let's start with the first one, defining a tree. Again, if you find this tutorial series interesting or informative for you, please subscribe and also leave me a comment. So the first one says defining a tree. So how do we define a tree? We have a tree on the left side, we have this tree. And again, if we are talking about a tree, we are talking about a binary tree most of the time. So in a binary tree, in a binary tree, there is something you need to know about it. Each of the nodes must have at most two children. So you can have a third, you can have a third child like this. If you do this, it becomes maybe a graph or another kind of tree. We are going to be talking about graphs a little later. So in binary tree, you can have a third child. It can only be one child. Or the principle says anything originating from a node, the number of edges coming out from a node should be at most three parents and two children. Okay. So if it's more than three, it can't be a binary tree. Another thing you want to know about binary tree, because we're going to be talking about it, is that to the left of the tree, the left child of the tree must always be smaller than the parent of the, of the node. The left child must be smaller. So we have C is smaller than G, I is smaller than G as well. So if you come to this place, B is smaller than C, and we also have that E here is smaller than C is greater than C. So this is what you want to be in mind. We are going to be talking more about it uh, later on, but for now, let's just define this tree. So how do we transfer this diagram we have here on the left to Python code uh, here? So let's just give it a number. So we have number one, define a tree. So before we can use a tree, the first thing you will need to do is to define a tree. So I'm going to define a tree. You have to define the class node. So for a tree or for a node, it has three things. One, the data, the data, which is this item G, the left, the left child, the left child, and also the right child. So if you specify these three things, you define a tree. You don't have to worry about defining all these nodes because this node is actually the tree or pointer to the root of the tree. This is also a tree having subtrees. In fact, every node is a tree. Just take it from me that a node is a tree. Say it three times, a node is a tree, a tree is a node, and so on. So once you define a node, you've defined a tree. And that node has to be a pointer. So I'm going to say class node. And this class node, we, we need a constructor that takes three parameters. So I'm going to say def. And this is how to specify the constructor in Python. I'm going to say left. I'm going to say self.left is equal to none. Self.right. Sorry. Self.right is equal to none. And self.data is equal to data. So in this case, if we are defining a tree, we need to pass in the data or the, the content of that, of that node we want to define, okay? So this is the first one. We've covered number one just like that. This is how to define a tree in Python. <laughs> There's nothing more than this. We've covered it. Once you've done this, we've defined a tree. 
What we just did is like this. We did something like this, and this is null, and this is null. And then we have our data right here. So this is actually a tree. Whatever happens here can be hundreds of nodes, so you don't want to worry about this until we talk about the next one, adding a node. So we've defined our tree, try to take some time to absorb this, and then in the next part, we now add a node to a tree.